Hello, this is Rob here from robcoven.com and I'm going to enhance this image of a girl DJ and here is the finished image we're aiming for. And the very first thing we're going to do is take a copy of this layer. So in the layers palette, which we go Windows Layers, we go Command or Control J to copy the layer. Now as you can see, there's a lot of distracting background, particularly to the right hand side of the model in the image. Now you may want to use the contrast between the lightness of the edge of her arm here and the darkness of the distracting background. So you may want to use a tool like Magic Wand or copy a channel to use as a mask there. but up here you've got the dark hair and the dark distracting background as well so it's very difficult to isolate this background in fact well, the only way we can do it unfortunately is by hand so I'm going to show you how to do that and in order to create a selection of an image that is pin sharp and accurate when you have to do it by hand you need to use the pen tool and create a path so if you go to Windows paths you can get the paths layer up and then in the toolbar you select the pen tool P. Now when you're using the pen tool it's very important you either choose shape layers, paths or fill pixels and because we are creating a path for a selection we're going to select paths here and all that does is create a path here and it doesn't create a shape layer or any pixels on the layers palette. So this is just for selection and it doesn't do anything to the image. The way we draw the path is exactly like drawing with the pen tool in Illustrator if you are familiar with Adobe Illustrator. This is a vector instrument that uses what's called Bezier curves in order to make a shape or in this case a selection and it's very difficult to teach Bezier curves in fact the best way to learn Bezier curves is to just go ahead and do them I'm going to show you how to do it now and to start with an easy area I'm going to select this area outside her chin and her lips and inside her arm here so in order to do that I'm going to zoom in to that area and in order to zoom in you get the zoom tool Z or command or control spacebar and then you just drag in the area and now that's gone a little bit too high to move it around we just get the hand tool or just hit the spacebar and then you can move the image around this is very handy because at the same time we have the pen tool selected so we can use the pen tool and then use the spacebar and then use the zoom tool so this is the area we want to create a path in and a good place to start will be here so I'm going to click once with the pen tool now the reason I started there is that's a corner the next thing I'm going to do is click around here and I'm going to click just right on the inside of her skin and now I'm going to drag and as you can see as I drag back I create a curve and that curve goes on the inside of her skin if it went on the outside then you'd see a little bit of darkness which wouldn't be a bad thing but when you're cutting out something it's always best to go a little bit on the inside so the next time I'm going to click is going to be here and when I drag back I'm not happy with the way that's going because it's going a little bit on the outside so I'm going to go command Z and now I'm going to option click on that point and when you do that the next bit of the Bezier curve is like starting again from scratch before when I try to create the next bit of the Bezier curve without option clicking the Bezier curve tries to create the next curve in a sympathetic way to the previous curve in other words it tries to continue the direction of the previous curve sometimes that is helpful sometimes it isn't in this case I'm just going to start again from scratch and I'm going to click and drag to create my next Bezier curve I'm nearly finished I'm going to do the next one it's going to be outside the image so I'm going to go F on the keyboard and that enables us to click outside the image 
here because we want the selection to go completely outside otherwise we might get some interference along this part of the image so now I'm going to click another anchor point here doesn't really matter where it is as you can see and now I'm going to follow around her hair and click there as you can see I've got a nice curve there and a nice curve that's sympathetic to the first one there and that's because I didn't do option click on that anchor point I am going to do option click on this anchor point because I'm having a change of direction now I'm going to click there on the sort of apex of the curve and I'm going to keep going now because this curve is going to be very much sympathetic to the previous curve it's come a bit short but that's okay I can just drag to push it out a bit I'm going to keep going I'm going to option click again because I'm changing direction again I've got another curve there option click again and click and I've created that path so there is the final path here's the paths palette as you can see it's given us a work path there we can double click there and give it a name I'm going to call it chin okay we'll just leave it there for the time being in the next video I'll show you why I created this path and show you how I turn it into a selection and then fill that selection in with a consistent flat colour in order to get rid of the distracting background. Okay, it's Rob from robcoven.com. I'll see you in the next video.